I'm Dennis on the Cisco Spaces PM team here at Cisco Live in Amsterdam. I'm going to talk a little bit about how we're using uh, the Cisco wireless infrastructure to provide attendees with blue dot wayfinding around the space. So using the existing Cisco wireless infrastructure that already was in the venue, we've enabled BLE beaconing to triangulate the location on your phone and provide blue dot uh, as you navigate the space. In this hall, the APs are about 35 feet high, so we've got varying power levels between the APs that are up high and on some of the outside edges uh, that are at a more typical height. Um, on this map, I can find a location where I want to go. I'm going to go to the Cisco Spaces booth. So attendees can use the WebEx board to search They'll get a path, but what we really want is how do I get there on my phone? So I scan this QR code, then I'm going to open up an app clip on the phone. No need to download anything. This is a temporary app that the user can open to provide that wayfinding. Uh, so the app clip is um, like a temporary app that Apple's developed. So it's not browser based. It's not an uh, app download. It lives on your phone until you're done with it. You could delete it manually, or it goes away when you're done using it. So I would assume that's like an iOS function, right? It's an iOS function. Android offers a similar feature. Uh, theirs has a different name. We do have some limitations on Android with that uh, temporary app clip, where Android doesn't pass the code we need to get the blue dot. So you just get a path on an Android, and on the phone, you get on the iOS, you get the blue dot. But what we have done for Cisco Live is we've used the Cisco Spaces Maps SDK and integrated that map into the Cisco Events app. With the SDK, the experience does uh, have parity across both platforms. So Android users using the app will get the blue dot. Uh, so I allow BLE uh, on my phone and then I say, take me there. And I get my blue dot and I get my path to follow. Just hold that up again, I wanted to see that for a second. As an example, we're going to navigate to the Cisco Spaces booth using the blue dot on my phone. Is this good? I can hold it here while we walk if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And now you can see we've arrived at the Spaces booth and the journey has ended. So just to summarize, what you would need to make this happen, a high density deployment for location-based services of your APs, Enable BLE beaconing, configure your major, minor, and make sure the UUID is set. Spaces takes that data, and we turn around, ingest the map, combine the data with the map, and we provide the blue dot wayfinding. So we do get the question, can I use UWB in this solution over BLE? Today, the answer is no, but that is something we're working on. Uh, we need to get that information exposed via iOS or Android. The Wi-Fi 7 APs do have UWB, and we will be incorporating that in this solution in the future, which will give us a more precise blue dot, uh, as well as other location-based services.